Hi again and welcome back to this uh, uh, wind sensor from a car reversing sensor project. I've um, done a few videos about my uh, journey with the um, this little uh, PCB and um, now I've uh, managed to get the little uh, Arduino actually in place onto this uh, and attached it to the PCB so what I've got here I've got a little um, I've tried to make this uh, this relate to this so here's the here's the Arduino and these are the connections and these are the connections in practice here uh, first thing to note I've got so you've got your ground and I've got two ground connectors on the Arduino and I've, you try you need to try to get them to be to get somewhere onto the ground plane of the circuit board here uh, so there's one there going down there with a double bit of wire for some reason I've put on and an, a nice thick bit of uh, copper wire there um, you can also take these or just not fit these here and then you'll have a little slot there and you could get some more ground wires uh, onto this ground plane there and really the, the more the merrier the, the the better that the better that's connected to the ground plane the better uh, this will work um, so I'll run you through these are the actual connections and what we're trying to do in in the schematic is to so here's a schematic version of the the um, the Arduino this actually is what I'm trying to do here is to represent the comparator which is actually inside here so you can see what's going on so we've got the, the receive signal, that is the pulse, the received pulse from the, the uh, transducer enters here, so this will be like a 40 kilohertz pulse. Um, and then on the other parts here, I've got, um, I've got essentially a switch in, inside the, the Arduino. So I'm switching, I start off with the envelope detect signal, which is some, some point above signal ground, it's actually 3 volts I've set it at. Um, and the signal ground is basically around about two and a half volts. So you've got a half once once the signal uh, hits, it gets bigger in amplitude, or then um, or rises uh, more than half a volt above ground. This will this will trigger the comparator in in the positive sense, make it go high. It actually causes an interrupt inside the um, Arduino source code, and in the interrupt, I then switch the comparator to this input and the input here is actually this is the three volt uh, sorry I switch I'm sorry I, I switch from the envelope detect which was there so it starts off at this three volt this three volt um, level here so this the the input must rise above three volts then I switch the um, the negative input from the envelope detect signal to the to the RX signal ground so that when it as it goes low, it'll go low and it'll actually it's all this is the, the comparator is also connected to the uh, capture input of the um, of the of the uh, Arduino, and so that this will cause the capture so that the capture is set to trigger on a falling edge. So before so before I do the capture in that interrupt, I basically clear all the flags to because there will be quite a lot of activity have gone on before this happened ready for that that falling edge and then that is basically zero crossing and I'm saying that's kind of the phase you know it detects the actual phase of the signal um, so I'll just I mean I'll show you the uh, this is the actual filter so here is ground um, so I've got the positive signal to ground here and the negative signal um, is uh, so actually it doesn't that doesn't matter but the, the sorry the point yes yeah, so the positive signal is important because this is a dual op amp um, I've labeled it as NN532 here but um, the reality of this is that when you get to when you get to the actual board you can see um, in the in this part here hopefully I can get to the actual board so this is a dual op amp um, the ground is actually the, the positive inputs are basically there and 
there so that's pin 5 and pin 3 you can connect to either of them that's the nearest to the, to the Arduino there so you connect ground to there a, a ground to A0 on the Arduino the output then which comes to I think it's pin 1 that goes uh, wait a minute I've got on my list here and the output goes to pin is it 6 or 7 yeah, it's the pin six of the Arduino, so that goes. Just to get me the glasses on. Uh, that goes to pin six over here. Um, the other parts are. You've got the address lines, so in the circuit here, you've got the address lines. Uh, I've done them a bit longer. I mean, it, you know, it's good to get them as short as possible. These lines on the on the actual board. Uh, do notice that they cross over. They cross over on 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 the actual um, in, in reality. So the is it the A three goes to pin nine and the A two goes to pin ten. I think. Yeah. So you've just got to cross those over. Um, the final bit of this, which possibly I should have showed you first, is the um, is this resistor network here. So this basically what so this end is connected to five volts. Um, there's a five volt input. I've, I've actually, uh, I don't actually need that bit on there yet. So this is this is the five volt input from uh, from this regulator, or it's five volt output, sorry, from the regulator. And the other end of that is connected to ground. The capacitor here is connected uh, to the output of the network and to ground just to to stabilise the. Uh, output and give it a, a lower impedance so that's that's necessary to do that the other part which I haven't mentioned is that the raw input that's the before the voltage regulator should go to the 12 volt uh, input after this reverse uh, protection diode here so um, the Arduino will quite happily work from up to 12 volts it doesn't actually take a lot of current and that's the little voltage regulator on there so that's basically uh, that circuit um, and oh the oh there's one bit I've forgotten which is the the other bit I haven't really labeled it very well on this diagram is that where we took out the board where we took out the microcontroller here um, you will find, and I think in both in all cases, it's pin. When well, it's pin, I think it's pin three. One, two, three. I think pin three of the microcontroller. And you want to you want to take your your um to connect that pin to pin ten of the um, Arduino. And, and that is the pulse output. There's a little resistor, unfortunately, you can't see it. It's under those. It's now sitting under those uh, two resistors of the of the uh, voltage divider here. Um, but you 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 can if you get a a voltmeter and connect that from there. I think it's either I think it's pin three. I'll just uh, I'll check on the. Um, I don't know what's it. Yeah, go into this one, and then it is. So the drive is actually on pin three, so it's actually on pin three of the of this. Uh, See, so if you get a voltmeter from pin three here to this resistor, which is coming out, which is connected to pin three, I think, of the microcontroller, you'll see resistors behind those, uh, uh, SMD resistor behind those. And then you can you can connect that. I, I'm pretty sure they, they're probably going to use the same software in all of these um, devices. And so my hunch is that that, that will generally be pin three. But obviously it's, it's a good idea to check, and also to check that you know you've got you have got something that looks like an operational amplifier here. Basically, it's surrounded by a lot of um, capacitors and resistors, um, and they're they're liable to put the the output at this end just so they can get it to the microcontroller. Although there are a couple of different versions of this board, um, I think basically they are the same um, circuit. So, um, so this is the second board that I've made, and actually I plugged all these in, and I haven't actually adjusted anything. It's it worked basically straight away. So, 
um, and that's you know after having Andy on the first ball which I can just show you the first board um, which is here the first one is dead and you can see well, uh, by moving the the uh, microcontroller onto the board uh, you've actually got a lot better um, connection because the comparator in the the Arduino is quite sensitive you really do need a good ground connection between the Arduino and this uh, the, the car reversing kit PCB so the final thing I will show you before I finish is to say the next my next plan is to get one of these uh, ESP01 boards and basically uh, pop it on there so um, then we'll have a you'll have a Wi-Fi output. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm, I don't know what the range of these is, but you know the next the next issue is probably well you can either get a better board or or um, or try putting an external antenna on this. But uh, needs a five needs a 3.3 volt regulator, which I've, I've got there, so I'm just planning to wave that around in the air. I know these use, use about 100 milliamps. Um, we're driving it off 12 volts, so that might they might get too hot. I don't know. But hey, you know, if if I can get away with it, I'll do that. Otherwise, it'll probably need a little uh, switching regulator to to uh, to handle that current. Anyway, so that's basically where I'm at now. Um, uh, the the board, you know, from my my previous version is is much neater, much neater and tidier than than this old thing with the the Arduino hanging off and all that. That was pretty much of a mess. But these are the stages that you you go through in, in a project like this. And just one final thing, of course, I'll show you that the the um, I'll get these screws out of here. That does actually, although this although this is flopping down a bit, the this uh, the whole contraption does in fact, will in fact, if I can get this on. There we are. Does in fact fit into the the board uh, into the into the case? Um, you've got to be careful with the Arduino at this end. I put it so that it's one along on my pins, but I'm, I mean that's up to you. But you can get that you can get this connector quite close to the um, to the case because obviously programming it. I'm planning probably I think the TX and RX outputs. Oh, sorry, it's, it's the TX from here is that is the only one that's actually required for this at the moment. Um, so I think it's broken out on the on the board somewhere, but um, we can we can we can find a way through there. So there's only there's only a transmit connection to that, and obviously you know this is another part of the thing. But you could probably you might want to use Bluetooth. Although well, I don't know. If, but Wi-Fi is not a bad option, actually. So, you know, I I, I think that this um, the ESP01 is quite a nice, quite a nice option to finish this off. I mean, to make it so that it's wireless. Um, so anyway, so the this is where I'm at at the moment with this this board. Um, it seems to be going quite well. I'm quite pleased that I've got the internal comparator working on it on the on the Arduino. It's quite a lot of it, it has got got some quite good capabilities actually. Uh, which really I've I've overlooked um, for many years. Um, so so it has been quite kind of fun to try and get the the uh, uh, the um, the Arduino doing some of the things it it uh, it can do. And um, all the all this all this stuff, all the code, the source code, schematic, and so on, is all my on my GitHub repository, which I'll put actually should put a link to. In, in at, the, at the end of this video, in, in the in the in the uh, text below the video, so um, once I've once I've got this um, this next part connected up, the ESP01 uh, programmed up and working, I will get back to you, and hopefully that basically completes this uh, this project. I mean the obviously my my actual um, the actual wind sensor I've got here is. Is uh, just not together, but it, it's very useful for demonstrating um, the, uh, the the thing. It's, it's pretty simple to make, and uh, so overall, it's it's kind of a, it's 
kind of a good introduction and at some point if I if if I um, you know need to, to get more serious with it I'll obviously have to make some sort of 3d printed case um, and there is a there's a kind of a, a, a sketch of the finished device which actually works the other way up so that things like birds and so on don't don't have sit on the, the plate and and it doesn't get rain and so on so much on it um, but for testing this is this is pretty good okay right well I better finish there I've uh, rabbited on quite a lot and um, I hope to uh, get back to you when I've done a little bit more